welcome to another vlogmas day. No, sorry, don't have a clue. Anyway, I've just got home from work um, about half an hour ago. Um, supposed to finish at four. It's about ten past six now. <laughs> uh, very busy day. Lots of people getting their hair did for Christmas. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I've just been going through all the presents I need to wrap. Um, Dan is going to meet his parents in York tomorrow, but he's not finishing work till like nine o'clock, so he ain't gonna be home till getting on for ten. So I said, oh, I'll wrap them. Why did I say this? Um, so I was just going through all the bags, and I remembered that we actually got a photo printed out for this picture frame, which I'm going to do now. It's, it's an alright photo. I think we look quite cute and happy on our wedding day. There you are. Oh, his dad's in the background. <laughs> oh, I don't think it matters too much. But yeah, we're just uh, laughing and pointing at someone. I've no idea who it is, but yeah, it's a nice photo. Dan didn't want um, the the most... Well, we've got two really, like, well-known photos from our wedding day. One is the confetti throw, um, which is amazing. Um we're just really smiling, there's snow in the background, we've got our family and friends smiling and throwing confetti all over us, it was a really well timed shot. Um, there's that one and then there's the other one we have as well which is our first kiss when she said you may now kiss the bride and I had my eyes shut obviously but Dan is like punching the air because uh, <laughs> he's so happy I guess um, but I had no idea he did that actually on the day so that's really special. Um, but I love that photo. I think that's my favourite one. But he he wanted this one, which was um, I don't know. We're not looking at the camera. We're just smiling. He looks better than I do. That's probably why he picked it. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed yesterday's vlog. Oh, it was such a laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. So we <laughs> we want to just spend a lot of money, and yet we have nothing for tea tonight. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have some beans on toast. I think. Um, I haven't eaten today. I'm a little bit ugh, like my back's really hurting and oh, why am I always talking about my back? I'm always whinging. I'm so sorry. I suppose it's just the time of year, isn't it? It's so busy hairdressing. Um, so yeah, I think we're just gonna chill when he gets home. I'm gonna have my tea now. It's like, you know, quite a long time to go without anything to eat. So beans on toast, might sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. I'm feeling naughty um but we've got all this gorgeous cheese in the fridge for this cheese board on Friday well oh well the thing is right I'm supposed to be having a Christmas party on Friday but it's not really happening like it's a really bad day for everybody like I was supposed to have it on the Saturday but then I was reminded that I'm actually doing a gig with the band on Saturday so couldn't do it on Saturday um, so I said, oh, well, I'll just do it on the Friday. Well, I forgot I'm working on Saturday, so it's not like I can stay up late, um, drinking. <laughs> um, and, like, I kind of need to get rid of people quite early because I'm working, Dan's working. Ugh, oh, it's a nightmare. Um, so I was like, oh, yeah, we'll have nibbles and cheese board and stuff. But actually, like, the faff of doing it, I said, you know, to one of the lasses that's come in, I said, why don't we just have fish and chips? Like, the village I live in does the best fish and chips in the world. Like, actually amazing. Um, so I said, bollocks to it. You know, why don't we just have fish and chips and get it in a box so there's no washing up? Problem solved. So I think that's what I'm going to do because, you know, you eat so much shit, don't you, over Christmas? Well, I have been. I don't know about you guys, but I have not been eating good at all. Um, I think I've had a mince pie every day, <laughs> if not every other day. So yeah, I think um, I better, uh... oh God, beans on toast is fine. It's fine. I'm just going to have that and then just worry about the rest later. <laughs> just popped you in the fridge while I look in it. It's literally booze, cheese and meat. Oh, it was a pip. Oh man. Yeah, it's just cheese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine different kinds of cheese. That's my fridge beeping at me. Saying, oi, shut me. Yeah. There's definitely nothing I can have for tea except cheese or alcohol. So. I just only choked on my pip. Jesus Christ, did you hear that? Because I eat too fast. Um, had another ASOS delivery today. Last minute Christmas presents. Um, that is it. I bought them all. I'm totally done now. Um, and I think they've figured like I'm one of the best customers because they sent me a little mini <laughs> chocolate box. Um, I literally get everything from ASOS. I can't believe how many pips are in this. Every single segment I've had has had a bloody pip in it. Hey, guess what I'm doing? Wrapping presents again! Yay! Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to tell you about a customer that I had today. Oh, she was so lovely. I'd never seen her before. She was new. Um, and she was really, like, giggly and cheeky and... She was 89 years old, right? And she was the sweetest lady I've ever... Oh, She was just... I don't know. Like, sometimes you just get a customer and you don't want them to leave. Do you know what I mean? You could just sit and listen to them talk for hours. Well, she was one of these customers. She just... Um... She said she was having... Um... Some work done at the hospital on her eyes and she was talking about the um the doctor she said oh he was so nice with me and patient and you know he, he really explained every single moment and you know you'd think with us old people that they just you know throw us out as quick as they can because we're old and not important and I was like don't be ridiculous you're lovely <laughs> like I, I did have a little bit of a cry, actually, after she'd gone, because she was so sweet. Anyway, she couldn't believe how cheap we were. She said, oh, how much is that, please? I said, oh, it's £10. She said, £10? It was it No, it was £7, because it was a dry cut. So that's just £7, please. And she was like, £7? Yeah. No, no, it can't be £7. I said, yes, it is. She said, well, whenever I go into town, I pay 40 what? Like, how can you dare charge an old lady 40 quid? I mean, her haircut wasn't even that amazing before I, you know. Oh, it really, it really annoyed me. Like, you need to look after the older people. And I said, oh, you, have you got somewhere to go on Christmas Day? She was like, oh, yes, I'm, um, I'm going to my daughter's. I was like, well, Good. I hope, you know, I hope she appreciates your company as much as I do. Because I'd love to have a grandma. I think they're ace. And there was another old man I did today called Harry that comes in quite a lot. And he has his hair really short. Like, too short, but it grows so fast. But anyway. And um, he said, oh, I'm... He's 89. He says, I'm 90 in uh, in May. I said, oh, are you having a party? He said, oh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I said, well, if you do, I'll come. <laughs> oh, you young'uns, you don't want to be having a party with us older folk. I said, I bloody do. How much fun would that be, just, like, chilling with old people? <gasps> pen. need a pen. I can't show you what I'm wrapping because I think the people that I'm wrapping watch this vlog, so I know at least three of the people I'm wrapping for um, watch. So I've got these nice little uh, tags. Oh, it's like little gold snowflakes. They're so cute. So yeah, right, I'm going to get on with wrapping. I just wanted to tell you, like, be nice to old people. Like, if they're grumpy or lonely, you know, just give them a kind word because they'll really, really appreciate it. Okay, I've wrapped the presents that need to be wrapped. I'm not doing any more now. I'm going to make my tea. I've got my fluffy PJs on. I think I got them last year from Primark. They're about eight quid for the set. Woo! -hoo. So they're very se unsexy. Um, but I don't care, I'm freezing. And I think I've forgotten to bring my hot water bottle down. Oh, man.
Very good news. Love Actually is on Netflix, so that's probably what I'm going to be watching for the rest of the month. Uh, I think it's my second favourite Christmas film after Home Alone 2, then this, then Home Alone 1. And I've never seen Elf. Everyone's like, whoa, you're a Christmas person and you've never seen Elf? Get it sorted, seriously. Oh my god, I love this film! Oh! Okay, I've had this film on not very long and I've already cried twice. <laughs> <laughs> having a very emotional day <laughs> in fact I'm having a very emotional week like I just seem to be on the edge of tears like all the time at the moment it's just the time of year isn't it and missing people and stuff so yes oh Alan Rickman that's that was the last time I cried it's just so sad anyway I better end the vlog here if I'm gonna relax and enjoy this film uh, so thank you for watching and please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and like the video and yeah, I will see you tomorrow.